I couldn't take a journey through woodland at this time of year without including one of my favourite pastimes. This morning, we're on the hunt for mushrooms. At this time of year, one of the things that I constantly ponder is whether or not our hunter-gatherer ancestors used wild mushrooms for food, because in Britain, we don't have a strong tradition of using them, certainly not compared to Scandinavia or other parts of Europe. But we do have wonderful fungi that we can eat, and even names that suggest that. This, in English, we'd call this the penny bun fungus, Boletus edulis. It's one of the very best wild mushrooms for food. You can really see how it gets its name. It really looks like a bread bun. Mind you, it's a long while since they cost just a penny. Although mushrooms aren't an obvious source of energy, and certainly wouldn't have been a staple food, they may well have been used to help improve the flavour of less inviting food, and so encourage consumption. It's not taken long to gather a good haul for our lunch, but we've also come across one or two rare and rather poisonous fungi. Right then, Gordon, have a look at these ones. What on earth have you got there? Now, the question is, would you eat them? Well, no way. They, 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 they look very suspicious to me. That's quite an unusual fungus. So I think this is uh, Satan's Boletus. If it's what I think it is, in the base of the stem, we should see like a little red tongue. And when I cut it through, we're going to see a colour change as it oxidises. And there it is. There's a little bit of red just there, you see? And the colour is going very, very Instantly. fast indeed. It's so, so staggering. Well, Gora's colour, but not a colour you'd wish to eat. No, and uh, that one is poisonous. Pretty Ooh. very dramatic. Lucky to see it, really. This is probably the wild mushroom that we're all most familiar with, mainly from nursery school books, where you have this drawn with a pixie beside it. It's, it's called fly agaric, and it's very interesting, and it's an important fungus to know about. It is poisonous, and it's a member of a family called the Amanitas. Now, the Amanita family is one of the most important families to know about because it contains some of the most toxic of all fungi. And they have certain features that it's very important to recognize. Firstly, they all have white gills, these blade-like things under the cap here, they're gills. And from these gills, spores drop. You can actually see the spores on my fingertips. And the spores that drop from the Amanita family are always white. The base of the stem is bulbous. And that's a very important identifying feature. When we collect fungi, we make sure that we get all of the mushrooms so that we can make a positive identification. If we broke the stem off halfway up and some of the other features were missing, because sometimes they fall off, we could misidentify this for something edible and be in a lot of trouble. Other identifying features of the Amanitas include a ring or skirt and there are often spots on the top, although these can easily be washed off in the rain. There are other members of this family to watch out for too, including this one, the panther cap. But most deadly of all is the death cap. Just one bite of this innocuous looking fungus can cause a painful death by destroying the liver. There is no known cure and it's particularly cruel as you start to feel better just before you die. Gordon, who is a mushroom lover, but not an expert, knows only too well what can happen if you eat a dodgy fungus. I once worked in the University of Cardiff and uh, we had a mycology department there teaching fungi. And uh, they sent me down the edible mushrooms every week after their laboratory classes because they, they, the people teaching the class didn't themselves eat the fungi. The lab technician brought me down my batch of edible mushrooms, supposedly. And she, she brought the wrong batch. Excellent. So I ate them thinking they were perfectly safe and, and uh, edible. There's a genus called Satyrella, purple, purple jobs. I went to a nearby bar afterwards and had a glass of beer. And it immediately triggered a reaction. My vision went monochrome. 
not black and white, blue and white. The memory started to go in waves. I'd forget how I started the sentence. Then I had difficulty breathing. Well, obviously it was a bit more alarming. I thought, well, before I become unconscious, I better make known uh, what, what I'd eaten for the doctors. So I wrote the name of the fungus, Sathirella, down on a piece of paper and pinned it to my chest. The, the ambulance arrived and um, took me to hospital, and I was stomach pumped and I was okay. But it's, um, it's a measure of the degree to which a lot of these fungi that are less well known, like this uh, little uh, purple job, can indeed be quite dangerous, and so beware. But if you know what you're doing, fungi can make a delicious woodland snack. Wonderful thing about fungi is they are inspirational as a cooking ingredient, and you can't really come out and collect some and not have a little impromptu picnic. And to make the best of them, I brought a few ingredients with me, certainly things our ancestors wouldn't have had. I've got a little bit of olive oil there. I'm going to put some butter and some garlic in the pan. Get the oil very hot before I cook the fungi. And, um, and I'm going to add some tomato, a little balsamic vinegar, some fresh basil, and serve it all on French bread. Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Fungi. Nicely sliced up. I'm cooking up some of the penny buns and also some summer bolitas, well-known edible species. I'm now going to add some tomato to that and now a little splash of some balsamic vinegar. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And a little bit of fresh basil. You cannot beat fresh herbs. I've been looking around for some fresh wild herbs, but there's been a lot of grazing in this piece of woodland. Not much here. So, a little bit of that in there. Just warm that through. Oh, the smell of it. Where's that, Gordon? Gordon, do some lunch. Oh. You've got penny bun, and uh -huh. you've got summer bolitas. Oh, good, 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 good. Some garlic and some balsamic vinegar, fresh and basil fresh and tomatoes. Basil. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's fantastic, Ray. Mmm. Right. That's very tasty indeed. Nice. Mmm. Try some of that. That looks too good to be missed. Mmm. I have a muffin with some flesh, is that? Very unusual flavour. What well, could be better? You pick them, and five minutes later you cook them. <laughs> Superb. Lovely. Mm.